We're the dude, y'all. This is Chris Evanson. This is Talking Data and More. And I'm super excited to switch up the content and the flow and have my very first guest on Talking Data and More. So without further ado, let me introduce you all to data engineer, extraordinaire, Max King. What to do, Max? Hey, Chris. Uh, nice to be here. Awesome, Max. I'm super excited to have you on. You know, Max, for the folks that don't know who you are and your data superpowers, can you give a, a brief introduction on those data superpowers that you have enabling companies to be data driven? Yeah, sure. Um, I don't know about superpowers, but uh, I'm currently a data engineer with WeWork. Uh, previously, I worked as a, a data management analytics consultant, worked with Chris a bit on a couple of different projects, uh, including some data warehousing, some data management, and some advanced analytics projects, as a, both as a tech lead, as a data architect, uh, as a sales engineer, in different, many different roles. Um, so yeah, like my expertise, uh, lies in basically the entire data lifecycle from beginning to the end, uh, from the data architect side to the actual uh, building out of data pipelines to data management and analytics. Yeah, and Max, I would totally agree. You are the person of many hats, and I've been very fortunate to have the experience to even work with you in the past, you know? Love the different hats, you know? And, you know, before we get into it, you know I have to ask you, with my love of comics, anime and all that and as you can see in the background you got to tell me who is your favorite comic book character anime cartoon you know and why yeah um i would say probably iron man is probably my favorite character you know like as an engineer you know uh he was like he's not born with any superpowers you know it's more relatable i guess coming from engineering background uh besides the whole of him being very rich part, you know, <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, I think it's just very cool character, you know, like how he built himself to be a, a superhero, right, rather than being born with it. That, that's awesome. You got, I love Tony Stark, and I think that's a great superhero for you, as you mentioned. Unfortunately, you're not a billionaire like him, you know, <laughs> but definitely on the tech side and as smart as Tony Stark is, I would say that relates with you. And you know, just like how Tony Stark is a brilliant mind, he is Iron Man, he's doing a lot to save the world. Those are his superpowers. You know, a data engineer such as yourself has those superpowers. You are making organizations like we work data driven, right? But for the folks that don't know, can you talk about, you know, the role of a data engineer or the data engineering team and the value they bring to organizations to really be data driven. Can you talk about that? Yeah, sure. Um, so yeah, I think um, the field of data engineering has grown uh, really like tremendously in the past like decade uh, with, the, uh, the, with the growth of volume of data, right? And different types of variety of data and velocity of data, like the whole big data movement, right? Uh, so the role of data engineer at core is to design and build uh, data pipelines, right, that enable the organi organizations to basically connect and leverage all the data that they have at their disposal in a nice, easily uh, usable way. Um, so if you think about all the cool like data projects that uh, all, every organization are doing currently, right, uh, you could think of data engineers as being the foundation um, that provides them the framework, right, and the tools and the warehouses to power those like initiatives, uh, whether it be from BI uh, initiatives or like data science, AI, machine learning initiatives, right? Data engineers help provide the foundation for them to build on top of it. Uh, and, and Max, that's the point is core, right? We know data is worth more than gold and you need those frameworks. You need those data pipelines. So that's great that, you know, the data engineering team and the data engineers such as yourself are bringing that value to the organization, right? So that's awesome right there. You know, just to expand on that, you know, what, because you, you have a vast amount of expertise, right? And so what makes a good data engineer, especially nowadays, when organizations are constantly challenging, you mentioned value, the variety of data. I mean, it's just difficult. What makes a good data engineer nowadays? 
Yeah, I, I think that's a very good question and a valid one. Um, so as I mentioned, like uh, data engineers are in high demand and like every like data driven organization needs a good data engineer. And I think what really uh, differentiates a good en data engineer um, is their like data architecture and modeling uh, is probably like the key like skill set um, that differentiates them. Uh, so currently, like as like uh, a lot of you guys know, right? There are a lot of different tools out there, right? Different types of uh, systems, infrastructures, right? And you know, it's just constantly evolving field. But the actual like concepts behind the data architecture and modeling. I think that's uh, the crucial, the most significant skill set that data engineers have, right? So uh, some components behind like a good data architecture and modeling, right? You need to know the different types of data, right? Uh, where they're coming from, how they're stored, right? How in like which formats, uh, how, uh, and how like quickly they're coming in, right? In, in terms of volume, variety, and velocity. Uh, on top of that, you also need to know the actual domain of the data itself, right? Uh, it's, like, I think, crucial uh, in order for you to uh, do a good data modeling that you actually have a domain knowledge of the data itself, right? So uh, whether it be a specific industry or specific services, right, that data is coming from, right, uh, it's important that data engineers are intimate with the actual data itself. Um, yeah, and basically given uh, using those like architecture and modeling uh, knowledges, right? Being able to model uh, the end product, right? The data warehouses, data lakes that are easily, like that can be used easily, right? And flexible enough to be used in a wide, uh, in, in wide different use cases uh, across the org and across different teams. And that's a great point. And so you mentioned understanding the data domain, the architecture. So if, if you had to start off, if somebody wanted to start off in data engineer, where would be the, the first step to get them to becoming a data engineer? What, what, what advice you would give? Just curious. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's an interesting question. Uh, I, think, I think for one, uh, I mean, SQL, I think it's just given, right? Like everyone knows yeah. SQL, but obviously being a data engineer, right? You have to be, uh, yeah, very comfortable with SQL. Uh, and from there, I would say definitely a lot of discovery and exploration, right, into the source data, right? And that will give you, uh, yeah, that will give you the domain knowledge that you would need to be able to model it properly, right, for the warehouses and data lakes. Um, yeah, and from there, you know, just uh, uh, getting into uh, more of the actual practice of integrating different data sources. Uh, that's key feature, right, of, um, developing data pipeline, right? Being able to integrate different data sources that we have, right? Especially these days, right? It's not just gonna be, you know, like a SQL databases as a source, right? You're gonna have a streaming data sources, you're gonna have unstructured data sources, right? Um, IoT data, you know, whatever the, um, the file or the data type might be, right? Uh, you need to be able to connect all those dots together or different data sets together. So I would say that's probably a good uh, starting point. And then as you get more familiarized with the whole process, right, just try to like hone in on uh, best practices, right, and the actual, uh, like, yeah, best practices around modeling, uh, around developing the pipelines, uh, et cetera. Yeah, and, and I love how you talk about like connecting the dots, and that's the, the most difficult piece, and even drawing that bigger picture uh, from the architectural, following the best practices and processes. So that's great that you hit on that. 